I am extremely happy. Now there is no more rush for lectures, no more assignments, yes, no more exams, no more hey you, stand up. <laughs> we are free, baby! Yes, <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so grateful to God. After all the hustling, bustling, obstacles, hey, get him down! Hey, hey, hey. No more school drama, man. I'm so happy. You know, easy, so as you don't graduate, now God win. <laughs> Talking about hustling and bustling, you know, it wasn't easy, I remember. In our second semester in our year one, when I lost my parents, you guys were there for me. <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> Especially you, Becky. You are the best. Can I ever stop loving you? I am so glad to be part of your success story, my love. Oh. <laughs> you have been a wonderful boyfriend and a friend to me. If I don't want to don't Life is not what you think. Madabore fit and apple. Is it one you give me? Well, you give me a girl. In case you see misfortune, never you succumb to the reading. Just mama, keep on pushing. Move to the right, do what is right. In case you see misfortune, never you succumb to the reading. Life is not what you think. Madabore fit and apple. Is it one you give me? Well, you give me a girl. In case you see misfortune. Never you succumb to the reading Just mama, keep on pushing Move to the right, do what is right In case you see misfortune Never you succumb to the reading Just mama, keep on pushing Just mama, Move to the right, do what is right Oh, it's gonna be good It's gonna be good One day, one day. Never you bow to evil altar Never you bow to any evil Oh, it's very dangerous. Oh, ma, ma, ma. Never you bow to any evil. Never you bow to evil order. Oh, it's very dangerous. Whatever what Keep up from them, keep up from them, oh. keep up from them. This evil is too much on me. This evil is too much on me. Is this wickedness? Is this wickedness? I'm tired of you. In case you see misfortune, never.
Good afternoon, Daddy. Good afternoon, Mom. And what kept you inside? Lunch has since been served. Um, I'm sorry, Daddy. I was getting dressed for a party. I'm sure one of those your crazy parties. Uh, no, no, Mom. You know, Sugar. Today is their mother's birthday. I see. Settle down and enjoy your food. I'm sorry, Dad. I have to get going. I... I need a little favor, Daddy. What is it? Can I please use one of your cars, Daddy? No! You have yours. Use it. Mom, I didn't ask for yours. I asked Daddy. Dad, please. Make sure you are not going to one of those your crazy parties where you get drunk and go bash my car. Daddy, I said I'm going to Sugar Mom's birthday party. Thank you so much, Daddy. I love you. Mm. <laughs> Bye! You endured her so much. She acts wild when handled with iron fist. Let's hope for the best. She lie down on top of one car. She don't so herself to Google like this. Eh? Now nah, check inside her purse. Come see her ID card. As good person will be. Now nah, someone bring her come house. Oh my God. Uh, please, did, did, did you see her car? <laughs> okay. It be like that she get the car where she lie down on top. Oh, I see. In front of the half hour club, you said? Now nah, there she did go on like this. I hope they have not raped her. You say? <laughs> if you see the way she take like that, eh? open her leg wide open like she decolle air for her matin. Oh, oh yeah, you can go now. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, what man is picking this way? I should be with you. You can go. With all this money. See, if anything happens this moment, I will kill you. Oh! Come on, man, I want to talk now. What, 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 what,
Your phone is ringing. Your phone is ringing, honey. Yes, this is the chief, Mrs. Um, Martha Pedro Williams. She was brought in alongside the girl she knocked down. Is the girl alive? Yes, she's alive. But her two legs are badly hurt. However, she will be fine. What about my daughter? Will she be fine? Definitely, your daughter will be fine. She was dead drunk. And I believe that could be the cause of the accidents. You must advise her to stop excessive drinking. It could cost her a lot, even her life. Doctor, thank you very much. I want you to do everything possible and save that young girl. I will give you any amount of money that you need. I want the best. As for my daughter, I will take care of her. No problem. We will take good care of the girl. We are also trying to identify her people. Well done, sir. Thank you, madam. Thank you, doctor. Do your best. What are you doing? 
coming here, you will monitor your spirit. Save your money. Where were you when my daughter got drunk and crashed? Eh? All you do is hang around her like a damn fly and help us find my money. Nothing but a bad influence. A very bad one. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. That mercy. I don't know what came over me. I know I've not been the best I should be, but but I have changed, Daddy. I have changed from now upward. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for everything I have put you through. I'm sorry, Daddy. What do we start to talk about your issue? What have we not done for you? I mean, we've given you more than any parent can give their child. Why are you putting us through this pain and anguish? Why, Becky, why? Oh, my Lord, I know I've been foolish. I know I've not been the best I should be. But please, just give me another chance. I've changed, Daddy, I've changed. I have nothing against you. You are my daughter and I can never hate you. All I want is the best for you. <laughs> Wait, so you brought me out from the class to bully and fight me because my father said you are a bad influence to me? That's not the point. You need to stop this your flamboyant life. Okay? You have a rich father. You have everything you need at your back and core. So why are you messing around? The last time we went clubbing, you were drunk. I don't like it. Huh? Are you calling me a drunk? Yes, because that's what you're gradually turning into. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know why. But I know I will fight it. But then again, you are my boyfriend. You were supposed to encourage me and not bully me or fight me over this. There is no more rush for lectures, no more assignments, no more exams, no more hey you, stand up! <laughs> we are free, baby! <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm so, so grateful to God. After all the hustling, bustling, obstacles, hey, get him down! Hey, hey, get him. No more school drama, man. I'm so happy. You know, easy, so as you don't graduate, now God win. <laughs> Talking about hustling and bustling, you know, it wasn't easy, I remember. In our second semester in our year one, when I lost my parents, you guys were there for me. <laughs> Come on, bro. Especially you, Becky. You are the best. Can I ever stop loving you? I am so glad to be part of your success story, my love. Oh. <laughs> you have been a wonderful boyfriend and a friend to me.
The guests will soon start coming. Okay, madam. And you can't be like this. You need to go have your bath and wear something proper for the party. You can say that again. She is my whole world. Our, <laughs> our whole world. <laughs> Have you told her? Ah, uh, I will call her. Beautiful. You know she needs her friends. Absolutely. She cannot party alone. You're right. <laughs> Just um, let, let me get going with it. Uh, all right, let me check with you. I'm on my way to the house. You and dad wants to host a party for me. Wow, mom, that is lovely. <laughs> I am so happy, mom. <laughs> okay, I'll just call some few friends. Okay, mom. Bye, mom. I love you. Tonight will be unforgettable, man. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Our novel confraternity is giving us an award. We jolly no go be here, oh. But tonight, jolly, you go where or die. I tell you. Victor, <laughs> I am done with confrat. Come on, I won't go. Oh, Bob, my last jolly, oh. My last jolly, my brother. I said, Victor, I have to move on with my life. No, we've graduated. No, no. I want to live clean. Okay. Hello, Becky. How are you? Wow! Tonight? Wow, that would be so on point. Okay. Yes, I will be coming with Victor. Yes. 
Yeah, no problem. I will call the other guys. Mary, Sugar, everybody. I'll hook them up, okay? Yeah, over there. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, baby. Okay, see you. Where would you go? Come on, man. It's the biggest place. She's having a party tonight. Tonight? Yes. So, my I cancel my bush jolly because. We they go jolly now, now this night will be jolly, cool don't down, forget. Cool down, Victor, we are not going to disappoint you. Hi, Chief Pedro. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. Anita is fine too. We're all doing well. Uh, no, 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 of course not. How could I forget? <laughs> Becky will not forgive me if I forget her graduation party. <laughs> yes, of course I'll be there. An Anita will be there too. Give my love to Marta and Becky, all right? All right then, see you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Sorry, you're back so early. Oh uh, yes. I hope there is no trouble. No trouble at all. Have you forgotten today is Becky's graduation party? Oh, I thought you have forgotten about that. Mm -hmm. On the second floor, she can represent our family. You know, I'm not fit for this. Oh, because of my, my darling, mm. we'll try, eh? Mm. At least it will give, uh, make good exercise for you and the baby. <laughs> don't want to try this baby. Ah, uh, don't worry about that. Eh? Don't we'll try, we'll try. Okay. Yes. Mm. You see, I have good news for you. Really? That contract I've been chasing in Asaba. Mm. I got it. Oh my God! I love you! <laughs> I love you too, my darling. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Johnny, don't forget. Mm -hmm. I'm the bush now. Get this Johnny, man. Come on. Let's go for Becky's birthday party. Come on, we've graduated, man. Enough of this. Let's go have some fun. It's up. Not for you. Why will you bush where I will go, Johnny? They go get a birthday party. Come on. Now, our last Johnny. Not for you. I know. What? See, pick that Becky. Let's go to Becky's birthday party. You know she's my girl. You know I love her so much. Yeah. On a special day, I ought to be there. I, you won't understand it if I don't go there. Okay, wait till I go tell my capon. Hey, Victor, uh, let her go reason with capon, okay? Okay, no problem. Let's go first. From the birthday party, we can, we can enter bush. Uh, that one day. Now just one hour I go do for that party. One hour from there, they no, go my bush. No problem. Let's go first. Officers in charge. Country people. I greet you, my brother. How are they? They're fine, Jerry. I'll walk now. Now we do as much as we want. We're rolling. We have another good. Oh, graduation party. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. 
Officer, nothing to do, but just use this one whole body and soul. Alright, guys. I greet you, Jerry. No, Allah, we go there, they do our own graduation. I'll be nice and nice and I don't know. Thank you very much. Where are you going? Where are you going? My love, are you okay? Or should I get you some water? No, honey. I'm fine. Please, let's go back home. I don't want to attend this party. Oh, come on, my love. We can't just turn back now. I mean, um, see. See what happens. When we get there, we spend just about 10 minutes and then we take our leave. Is that okay? It's okay. Sorry. You said so. Please, man. Okay. Again, I welcome you to the party. Today is indeed a great day for my family and I. Today, my daughter, our daughter, <laughs> <laughs> the only child of the family graduated from the university. Hmm. And you can as well call her an engineer. <laughs> it might also interest you to know that she came out with first class in civil engineering. Woo! 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 So we decided to get organize this little get together to honor her. Eat, drink, and make bed. We have a lot in the house. Who say money no good? Is your mutu? Job like say we be babu. Thank, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, <laughs> I'm your really short of words. I just want to thank God Almighty for a beautiful day like this. This is one of the days in my life I will not forget in a hurry. I want to also thank God for my wonderful, beautiful parents. Thank you, Daddy. Thank you, Mom. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Just eat, drink, celebrate me. Chicken salad is not for everyone. I like you, I like you.
And gentlemen, I welcome you all this night to my beautiful daughter's 25th birthday party. I am happy today and I wish her the best that life can offer. But yeah, it's time for you to come take <coughs> Dad, Dad, I, I can't cut my cake in this. I need to go up and freshen up. My dear, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and get it over. You can go back and take your bath. It's all the same. No, that I... I can't cut my cake. Please. Please. Let's go and have a bath. She can't cut her cake in her sleeping wear. I insist she cut her cake. Can't you? You're harassing me present with guests. Let her go and have a bath, please. Problem. This girl wants to destroy all of us. We must not allow her to succeed. Never! gentlemen please I am sorry can you just please relax and then um, I just get my daughter in a few minutes all right make yourself comfortable thank you thank you
Everyone's waiting. I'm ready. Let's go. There is serious trouble. If that girl does not die, we all suffer. It is already bad that she took her bed before cutting her teeth to the cake. She was supposed to cut the cake, which would have marked her end here and end. But she blatantly refused and had her bath before cutting the cake. We are all doomed if we do not find a way around it. Pedro, this is your fault. The great master gave us first order. Your daughter shouldn't have disobeyed you. But you were all there. And you all saw what happened. What was I supposed to have done? There's no way. My child will refuse what I asked him or her to do. No way. Praria Kuraba. I'm going to get to your tenam and double control. I'm gonna see you at Tanaka, see you at Lucky, see you at Lucky. What a good one! Shut up, get up, get up. Sakamori, Tarata. Get up, move. Reverend! The deed has already been done. The Pope, the Grand Master. Becky, take your food and go somewhere else to eat. I don't want you on this table. Dada, I'm sorry about last night. Honestly, I didn't mean... I said leave this table now. Next time you want to drive a car, go and buy your own. Not the one I bought with my money. Honey, why are you being hostile to our daughter this morning? treating me like this. I have told him I'm sorry, Mom. I've apologized to him. Honey, your daddy is still smarting from last night. Don't worry. He'll calm down. Okay? Mom, this is not fair. This is not fair, Mom. I've apologized to him. I've told him I'm sorry. I've told him I'm sorry. I know. I know. You know, it's men and their ego. Alright? Or everything will be okay. Oh, 
Every single day the passes, we are still faced with the same problem. And we continually risk the wrath of the great master Saruman. Does it mean that little girl Becky has become immortal that she cannot be killed? The duty lies on you, Pedro. Our businesses, indeed, our lives are at risk. She will die. I will be sure she die. When? We have no time. We need to strike before we are struck. I am mapping out strategy so that fingers will not be pointed at me afterwards. Pedro, just do whatever plan you have. We don't have time. We have no time to waste. We can as well arrange to kidnap her and kill her. Then make it look like a robbery scene. No. I will not want that to happen. Investigation. Inquiries will begin. And I don't want that type of attention from me. Then move fast. <laughs> Well, impressive, I must say. You are indeed an asset. Thank you very much, sir. I am honored. Well, you can go and come back on Monday and check for a response to your application. It's okay, sir, no problem. Thank you once again for the audience. Thank you. Have a great day, sir. You're welcome. Honestly, Penny, I don't understand you. Your actions since that night has been one hell of a trauma for I and Becky. For crying out loud, what has she done that is unforgivable? What has she done? No child of mine will openly disrespect and disregard my orders. And you expect me to turn around and smile and hug that child? to cut her better cake in her sleeping way? Are you all right? But mind you, this is just the beginning. She will see the other side of me and then learn not to disrespect or disobey me next time. Honey, honey, why are you taking this thing this far? How can you suddenly wake up and turn to your own daughter's enemy? What is it? What is it? My father is extremely mad at me over the birthday issue. This morning he drove me out of the dining table and took the car he bought for me. Jeez. Why is he blowing this out of proportion? I don't know. I thought you've apologized. Of course I have. I have apologized to him. I have begged him. He's just so mad at me. Honestly, I have never seen my father in such manner before. Really calm down, okay? I know what the problem is. Your father's ego was bruised that night. I am begging. Trust me, with time, he will get over it, okay? Honestly, sweetheart, I am scared. I am so scared. All I see in my father's eyes is hatred, anger. It's okay. He looks at me as though I'm not his child anymore. It's okay. Listen, sweetie, your father is just angry, like every other father will be when a lovely daughter makes him angry. Just calm down and relax, okay? Meanwhile, I don't like your mood. Okay? The odds seem to be against me. What will I do if he dies? I'll be childless. So, would you rather die instead? You still have options even after he dies. 
Yes. You can always remarry and have kids. It's a tough choice to make. Roland, there is no time. You must call him back now. Because if he doesn't return in the next 24 hours, consider yourself dead. I guess there's no other option. Yes. No one. I want to tell you sorry. Please forgive me. I know I made you angry. I bruised your ego. I blasphemed to disobey you, but it's not intentional, Daddy. Please. Bad news, you know. Mm. So sorry. So, are you going right away? Yes, I'll go now. <sighs> I'm so sorry, okay? It's okay. Just take care of yourself and do take care of your father, please. I will. You know, I would have gone with you if not for the test I have tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. I really don't see it. Becky Pedro Williams. Yes, sir. And Chief Don Pedro Williams is your father, right? Yes, sir. He's my father. I'm sorry. You need to speak with him. Only he can approve your appointment. I... I don't understand, sir. I mean, you should go home and meet your father. He knows what to do. Sir, excuse me, sir. Why do I need... Thank 
this salad not for everybody. No, no, that's all. Not for everybody. Mm. <laughs> My babe, Popsy, don't change them for her. I'm telling you, that man has made life miserable for that girl since that birthday incident. Simply because of that? Yes. Come on, for me, there's nothing wrong in what she did. Simply because she wants to take her bath before cutting her cake. Come on, it's normal, it's the right thing. That single act made her her father's enemy number one. As we speak, the man seized the car he bought for her. I'm telling you. Victor, something is wrong in the spirit. She needs to come close to God at this point. I will not be spiritual matter, I will not be spiritual things. I'm telling you, my babe's problem is physical, not spiritual. The man is angry with her, that's the point. Victor, there is no smoke without fire. The spiritual controls the physical anytime. See, for anything to happen in the physical, the spiritual must have been threatened. Ah, no. This one not showing me say, oh Bob, chicken salad no be for everybody. Oh. No be for everybody. Do not greet me again in your life. I don't want to hear your voice nor see your face again. Go in there, pack your things, and move to the boys' quarters. Please, it has no question to this. Please, I beg in the name of God, don't do this. Please, get I... out and do what I say. I say, get out. Get out. In case you see misfortune, never you succumb to the reading. Just mama, keep on pushing. Move to the right, do what is right. In case you see misfortune, never, never you bow to any evil. Oh, it's very dangerous. Oh, mama, ma. never you bow to any evil. Never you bow to evil order. Oh, it's very dangerous. What time I will not chase it If we find a member What time I will not chase it Ooh, they are dangerous These people are bad Keep up from them Keep up from them These people are bad Keep up from them This evil is too much on me This evil is too much Wickedness is this wickedness. I'm tired of you. Tired of this. Where are you going to? Where are you going to? Where are you taking the bags to? I said, where are you taking the bags to? <laughs> Dad asked me to move from the main house to the boys' quarters. Your dad did what? Asked you to move from the main house to the boys' quarters? Oh, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Life no be waiting, you think. Life is not what you think. What is wrong this time? What is the meaning of sending our daughter to the first quarter? I am still the head of this family. You cannot question my decision. Decision tramples on the right and sanity of our only child. I have made my decision and that is the final. She cannot step into this building anymore. Petro, you lie. I will not stay in this house and allow you to continue maltreating our daughter. Do you understand me? I can see you have decided to question my authority in this house. We shall see then. Hey, 
My father sent me out of the main house to the boys' quarters. He did? Yes, he did. And then at night I... I had this terrible nightmare where a demon was pursuing me and actually caught up with me. And then I woke up. I woke up and I saw a cat. A cat in my room. A cat? Yes. What's, what's, what's going on? I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Everything is just happening all at the same time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm still trying to battle the issue I have with my father. Then the horrible man. There's a solution. Yes. The solution is in Christ Jesus. You see, no one can escape the attack of the evil one except you are rooted in Christ Jesus. You don't understand what I'm talking about. My house is in crisis. Everything is just wrong. That's the problem. Becky, I very well understand what you're saying. A home without Christ is full of crisis. Is there anything that happens under the sun that could be beyond the Almighty? Is there? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh great Saruman, we call upon thee. Arise, oh great Saruman, and take our soul. We offer her to thee, oh great Saruman. Arise, oh great Saruman, and take our soul. Come and drink her blood. Arise, O great Saruman, and drink her blood. He died on the cross of Calvary to save you from your sins. My sins. Our sins. So Becky, why not give your life to our Lord Jesus Christ? Make him your, your Lord and your personal Savior. And he will end every oppression of the evil ones in your life. In his word that says, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. for you. Uh -uh. She's having problems with her father, not God.
Where does she get her powers from? We must find the source of her power and destroy it at once! From the preliminary test I carried out, there is nothing I can tell you that is wrong with him. What exactly did you say happened to him? Nothing serious. We are all seated and discussing in the sitting room. The next thing he excused himself to go is himself. The next thing we had was a shout. So we rushed out to meet him on the floor. The situation baffles me. As we speak now, he is paralyzed. How? What? How, how can he be paralyzed? Why? Well, we keep looking after him and see what we can do about it. sudden change baffles me. I, I just don't get it. Everything is happening all at the same time, Mom. Everything is just wrong. Victor is in the hospital, Mom. Victor? Yes. What happened to him? I don't know, Mom. I don't know. He went into the bathroom. Then he screamed. Myself and Steve went in there and we found him unconscious. This is serious. What is going on? Why is that treating me like this? Why is he being so wicked to me? Why? If I got it, go on. If I just took a bad walk, did it get come down your work? Anything that thrown up for the head, for the head, destiny, child. Anam chukuna ke wa 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 Oye gina ya se egwa de la tu ya chima Chukusa bama A 19 power Ya jesu What are you doing? Mom, where are you hiding it? Where is it? What are you talking about? Mom, don't even lie to me. Don't lie to me. I want to see it. I want to know the truth. What? What are you talking about? Where is what? I want to see the document you and your husband used in adopting me. I want to see it, Mom. I want to actually know I was adopted.
to tell me what our daughter has done to you? That you are putting her through so much stress. Why on earth have you turned to a monster to hurt your own daughter? Why? Our only child. Why? Okay, I'll talk about friends. I have a big issue. No, no. You cannot push this issue anymore. You have to speak to me and now. You must talk to me. Tell me what she has done. Obviously, you're making the air toxic for me. No, you're not going anywhere else you answer me. You're not going anywhere unless you answer me because we cannot continue like this. I will not allow this madness to continue. Take it out of my way! Don't you dare me. Don't make me do something nasty. Don't you dare me! <laughs> Conscious. What is what is happening? <laughs> Don't worry, you'll be fine, okay? Okay? Just relax. Where am I? Don't worry, you're in the hospital, okay? Uh, we saw you collapsed in the bedroom, so we brought you here. But they are taking care of you, you'll be fine. Where is Becky? Uh, Becky, she was with us here yesterday, but I've not seen her today. We have a bigger problem on our hands. Becky is beginning to act funny. And from my observations, she needs urgent psychiatric attention. Please. Do I look like a psychiatric? Or does this place look like a mental home? Oh, please, Petro. Can you please get off your high horse? You are the one that drove Becky crazy with your hatred and unwarranted wickedness. And now you're here showing no concern. What's your problem? I am not. That's all you do all day. Now leave me alone. Really? Yes. You know what? I would have thought I'd be dreaming seeing you act like this. I don't know you no more. You are just, I mean, you just become a monster. I can't believe it. I pray the Lord will have mercy on you. And excuse me. <laughs> It seems this life is not giving me what I want. 
I'm a rich man speaking, but why are these two now? Yes. Where is Vicky? Why has she not come to see me? Um, Victor, it beats my imagination too. But I believe she will be here soon, okay? So don't worry about her. Don't worry. I know Vicky very well. Something is wrong. Please go to their house and find out what is wrong. No problem. I'll go to the house and find out. But just relax, okay? I need water. Water? Okay. I'm a rich man speaking, but why are these two now? Nightmare, very horrible, very horrible. Oh no, maybe this is if I got it, go Vicky. Down. If I had Jensen, I God have been messy. This is no good at all. What's going on with that? The past few weeks has been very traumatic. And this is what I saw. Jesus, this is no good at all. Becky, what, what's our father saying about this? Father. Madam. I'm sorry, I may have to ask you some salient questions. If you don't mind. Go ahead, ask anything, anything at all. Madam, we both agree that Becky, Becky's case is critical and she needs urgent solution. But for me to do anything, I need to know the genesis of this issue. Go ahead. I'm sorry to ask this. Is Chief Pedro truly Becky's father? Yes, he is her father. I have heard that Becky is not your only child. If you don't mind, what happened to the others? Uh, you want to take me to the cruel past? To the cruel past that I vowed to keep in the past where it really belongs. My son is gone. My son is dead. It's okay. It's okay, Hannah. Tears won't bring him back. It's okay. What did I do to death? What did I do to death? Why is death doing this to me? What did my son do? Honey, what did my son do? What did my son do? You have to pull yourself together. You have to be strong, okay? It is well. God gives and He takes. Well, I got my first baby. I got my first fruit to go. Okay. Oh God, I need this condition. Why will my first son die? That's the more reason why you don't need to cry. Stop stressing yourself. Okay? It is well. It is well. I'm, I'm back, and there's a brand new car parked outside there. We now have a car of our own. Like seriously? Yes, very seriously. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> my God, I can't... Are you serious? <laughs> I can't believe this. This is great news! And listen, the car is for you, it's not for me. You know my business is beginning to boom, and you know everything is turning around for our good. You mean like, it's for me? It's for you, baby. <laughs> Maybe you know what? What? You deserve a thousand kisses. Wow. I blessed the day that I married you. 
I blessed it and agreed to marry you, darling. Oh. I feel so good when you said it. <laughs> you know what you need to do for me now? Yeah. I want you to go in there, prepare yourself. We are going out to celebrate this. For real? For real. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, baby. <laughs> Give me a mobilization fee of 300 million naira and I bought a house at GRA for 60 million naira. Our house! Our house! Ah! Our house! 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 Our I just keep, you know, thinking that I'm going to lose this baby as an infant just like the other one. Why are you working up yourself in vain? Mm -hmm. The baby isn't born and here you are talking about he or she dying as an infant. Yeah, but I can't help it. You know, the, 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 the thought of the other ones that, that, that died keeps running through my mind. Okay, relax, relax. Nothing will happen to you, not the baby. Hey, come on. I was about telling you that I'll be traveling to Abuja tomorrow. I'll, I'll, I'll come back on Friday. You, you're just telling me now, all of a sudden, Honey, I'm going to be alone at home. Honey, I didn't know that the minister wanted me to be there in person. So I'll leave first thing tomorrow. But before then, uh, uh, one for the road, please. One for what? For, come on, honey. Man. Don't try me. Leave me alone. You know what time come it is. Come on, you're a bad boy. I ain't done. All right, let's come on. Let's, no, go. let's, go. Go. let's go. Let's go. Come on now. I told you. I told you, but you didn't believe me. I told you I was going to lose my baby. I told you this was going to happen. It's okay. It's okay. I'm going to calm down. Only God knows why. What have I done to deserve this? What? All my babies are dying. All my children are gone. What have I done, oh Lord? I am back. <laughs> and I came back with lots of good news. What good news? What good news can, can, can overshadow the grief and sorrow in my heart? At least let's savour the good news and forget the sorrows. What good news can suit my pain? Honey, I have just been awarded the contract to do Lokoja Abuja Highway. Congratulations. Congratulations. Later on, as God would have it, I got pregnant again. And she survived. Becky survived. Jesus Christ. So much death. And then glory. Glory, you say? Wait. How come whenever 
I lose a child. Money and open door breaks through. story shocked me. It got me thinking seriously. Honestly, I think that something is wrong in that family. Steve, now I'm beginning to believe all you've been saying about God. Look at me. Look at my condition. Victor, God is the only sure way out of the wicked devices of the enemy. For sure. My poor girl. My love is suffering. What is going on? See, Victor, no matter what is going on, one thing is sure. God is the sure answer to every problem. Okay? Talk to you, God. Anything they throw no for the head, they have a destiny in China, and on Chubunaka. Anything they do no for the head, they have a destiny. Please, I want you to help me take this fire to Chief Benson. He needs it urgently, and I can't go there now. You need me to help you? I'm sorry. If you can't give help to our daughter, who is almost raving mad, I can't help you do that. Martha, so you are refusing to do what I asked you to do? Hello, Steve. Steve, you want me to come? Okay. cannot be killed by any spirit of me. We need greater powers from great Solomon so that we can kill her physically. Let's begin that. Yes, delay is dangerous. Then let's begin. Oh, great Saruman, we come up on this. Arise, oh, great Saruman, and take our soul. Oh, great Saruman, we offer her to thee. Arise, O oh great Saruman, and take her soul. O oh great Saruman, come and break her blood. Arise, O oh great Saruman, and break her blood. against my people shall prosper. And any man that rise against them is 
Saruman, how dare you? Oh, your Saruman has biased, but the power of the Lord, the Lord of Israel, right? is bigger than that of seeing you, this one, whoever that is in you that is speaking, I uproot them in the name of Jesus Christ. Go and try for the poor. Please, you must forgive me. I have 
Washington, more than enough. All this started when my greed and quest for money drove me to join in a deadly cult. I made it pledge to the great master that she would die on her 25th birthday. <laughs> she was supposed to cut her 25th birthday cake before taking her bath, but she disobeyed me. And this cost me a lot in the court. And ever since then, I've been frustrating her and plotting to kill her. But she refused to die. Please, Pastor, tell God to forgive me. Please, forgive me. Oh, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, it's too bad men easily give their souls to devil in quest for material possession. So thank God for Lord Jesus Christ. Thank God for Jehovah Shammah. Thank God for the lily of Baal, the rose of Sharon. Thank God for the mighty Jesus Christ who died on the cross of Calvary that we may live and have life in abundance. Oh God. You are made whole again. But something is left out. Are you ready to receive Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior? Yes, I am. I am Pastor. Are you ready? Lord Jesus, I am so sorry for all the sins and atrocities I have committed. Here I am, Lord. Please take me. Cleanse me with the blood of Jesus Christ that I may be worthy to worship you again. I promise not to go back to my iniquities again. I pray in Jesus' name. Let us pray for you. Father, eternal King of glory, oh, mighty God, I thank you because there is none to be compared to you. Father, I thank you for your son here. Father, I thank you because you said in your word that when a sinner repents of his evil ways and comes back to you, that you will take him back. Because you said there is joy over a sinner that repents than a hundred which is already in hell. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this family. Father, we thank you for this family. Father, we thank you for this family. Father, we thank you for this family. The blessings which we have given them will retain. Because you are the Lord that gives and you never take care. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Um, so actually, I am an um, associate pastor in our church. Our senior pastor, his father, went for a conference. I was sent here. But thank God, God has finally redeemed your family. Amen. This is all you have now. From now on, you are a new creature in the Lord. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything turning around. I can see everything turning around. Everything turning around. Everything running around, oh my. I can see everything running around, everything running around, everything running around, oh my. I can see everything running around, everything running around. In case you see misfortune, never you succumb to the reading. Just move on, keep on pushing, move to the right, do what is right. In case you see misfortune, never you succumb to the reading. Just move on, 